Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the podcast. Now, in today's episode, uh, this is a. I got a very long uh, text from this coach uh, who's been listening to these episodes, um, and I think this he he was very brave for sending me this question. I've never talked to him before. This was his really his first question he's ever asked, first ever interaction. Uh, and this is a little bit different, but he said, Hey Ben, um, I want to start a business, but my wife doesn't, um, uh, feel like that's going to be a good move for us right now. Um, she has a job. I have a job. Um, and I think she's worried about not being stable. If I go full time into this business, um, uh, and she's very unsure that this is something that I should do. Now, the way that my mind operates is not going to be the same as, as everyone else. But here's what I'll tell you because I, I'm married. Uh, my wife does not work. I am the sole provider, right? And I told her before we got married that that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to be a sole provider. She's not going to work. And, you know... Like that's not normal in 2021 for relationships to be that way. But for me, that's what I wanted. Um, and so I had to be very intentional with how my business is operating in order for that to happen in the first place. Right. But to answer your question here, if your wife doesn't believe in you and she doesn't want you to, um, step up and and do this then there's probably something that's happened in the past that has made her believe that this isn't a good move maybe you've tried to start something in the past and you didn't follow through um or maybe you've been talking about a a bunch of ideas and then you just don't execute so there there's a reason why she would tell you that it's not just because she doesn't want you to fail it's there's something underneath all right and if it were me i would uh sit down tonight i would turn off netflix i would uh, have her throw her phone in the other room and i would have a sit down conversation and i would say hey um i need to know why you you think this way um so so this way i can give you more confidence when i do start this that this is this is what i want to do with my life because if you feel called to do something, you should do it. And as a man, you should lead in your marriage. And I can't do that for you. Right? That, that, that's something that you should be doing. Um, and if you really want to go after something, I, I feel like you need to go after it. But it's not going to work the way it should if you have someone who you're married to, if they don't believe in you. Because at the end of the day, like you'll be working on it and you you'll have this this negative force against you. You need to have her be in alignment with what you're doing. And the only way that's going to work is if you start communicating better. Right? And I'm not like a a, a marriage uh counselor here. But what I will tell you is like if you want something and your significant other uh doesn't want you to do that, then you need to figure it out. Hash hash it out. Talk about it, like understand why. And again, the name of my podcast is The Sales Show. So in order to uh, persuade people, (laughs) including your uh, husband or your wife, whoever, uh, you have to be good at selling them the idea of why you're going to do something, right? And you have to sell to yourself why you want to do it. But if, if you need the approval of someone else to move forward here it's going to come down to sales right it's going to come down to sales but i would start by communicating and i promise you your business is infinitely easier when you have a partner who supports what you want it it is drastically more difficult if that person is pulling on you all the time they're not wanting to work on that project they're not wanting you to stay up late and do that like I can't imagine how my life would be right now if, if that was the case. So go talk to her, figure it out, and go start your business.